Hey everyone! Today we are going to set up a tool that is incredibly useful for end-to-end -end testing of your React Native app. And it doesn't matter which framework you use for automated testing, you'll find this tool beneficial. The tool is called the Appium Inspector. It's right here behind me. And it's also part of the Appium framework, which you don't necessarily need to use for your automated testing. But I'll also create a tutorial in the future videos on how to set up Appium testing for your Expo Go app. Now you might say if you're working on the Expo Managed Workflow, there is a tool called Expo Dev Tools and it provides you with inspection, profiling and debugging. And it's all fine, but it's fine during the development of the app. This right here works on any kind of published Android app. As long as you have a connected device with USB debugging enabled, you can inspect, uh, I mean, any kind of app. And in this video, I'll walk you through the configuration process and show you how this can enhance your testing efforts or preparement for testing, or debugging, whatever. So let's go through it. Now we are covering the initial setup and configuration, which means we need to install the Appium server. Without running the server, there is no interaction with your Android app. I can't remember why I used the beta release instead of next. I believe beta maybe has more features or some bug fixes. I know this version works. And now let's install the diagnostic tool, which will check that you have everything set up correctly, the node version and Android path, Android home path. Okay, this already exists. Now that we have installed Appium Doctor, Let's run the diagnostic and see if we set up everything correctly. So it found my Node.js version, it found my Java home, Android home. Uh, I've found that this is the error that is reported on Windows and it's incorrectly. And while I was running this on Ubuntu, I think I haven't had this error reported, but it doesn't matter because Appium as well as Appium Inspector should work. Now, before running the Appium server that we will installed, we need to run the Appium driver install. And to be able to interact with Android applications, you need UI Automator 2. That is the driver for Android. For example, if you were running a web app, you would use a web driver for Chrome. Uh, Appium is very similar to Selenium in terms of how architecture, in terms of their architecture. I believe they follow also the same philosophy. So if you're familiar with Selenium, Appium very similar. Now you can run the Appium server. Okay, uh, this is the very important because when you connect your app, remember this host and port, your app, your device, sorry, needs to be connected to the same Wi Fi, the same network as the where the Appium server is running. Of course, if you're testing locally, 
Now I have my device connected. I have my device connected. And it's this device right here. That's the ID of the device. You will need this info when specifying the connection string to the Appium Inspect. There's also one thing I wanted to say. This is this warning right here. It says that UI Automator driver is incompatible with the current version of Appium. Uh, that is a known issue, but it's just a warning. It will work nevertheless. Now let's download the Appium Inspector. This is why I made this video. And configure it. For detecting what you need to install, go to releases of this GitHub repository. Scroll down until you see assets. For example, on my Ubuntu machine, I needed to download the app image. And for Windows, where is it? It will be the exe file. Okay, we no longer need Chrome. So I'll split this window in two. Remember I mentioned there are different URLs, but since you are connecting, you, your device needs to connect. 4723. 4723, it needs to be something like this. Okay. Okay, now let's fill the capabilities. Capabilities are instructions for your driver, which tells it which platform, device, what kind of an automation, and so on is needed for running the inspector. Also, sorry, not inspector, this is instruction for your Appium server. Remember this one, this is the driver for Android app. Device name, it will be, already forgot, this device, okay? So I explained these key values, but there's also app package and app activity. Now this is when you want to run an already installed app running on your Android or emulator device. Okay. To find out which activity that you need to use, if you're using Expo, it will probably be your package name and .main activity. But also there's a cheat. And that cheat is when you run your app and you can turn on locket and your package name and run enter. And uh, when you run your app, you should see the name of the activity that has launched. Now skip server installation tells Appium whether to skip installation of the Appium server on the device. Appium in this case will install or update the server on the device as needed. Auto grant permission allows Appium to automatically grant all the permissions requested by the app upon installation. This is useful to avoid manual permission pop-ups during testing. And wait for a launch, finally, indicates whether Appium should wait for the app to fully launch before starting tests. Now let's run. Okay, sorry, let's see if it's connected. Okay, so now let's run this. I 
Ah, my bad, I didn't save. Okay. Now let's run. Now this is interesting, the Norris set part. Uh, I didn't have this warning while I was testing on the Linux Sapium Inspector. Okay. This is my screen. Okay, this is my screen. And what I want to do is, for example, run a Coca-Cola app. So you can see you can run any kind of app and you can see what the app is constructed from, right? But now, why this is useful for your app? For example, okay, let's forget Coca-Cola. Let's go to my... Let's go to, I don't know, ErgData. The app that I'm using for rowing. It doesn't matter which app, but... What I wanted to show you... This app doesn't have it, but when you will be testing, you will need accessibility IDs. And uh, accessibility ID is, in other words, selector that you will use either for clicking, for getting the text, basically for testing the interaction of with your app, right? And you can debug if you set the correct IDs, the accessibility IDs, by inspecting your already published app. And you can also inspect how many layers of components your app already has. Now this concludes the configuration of your Appium Inspector and uh, running it for your Android connected device. But what if you run into problems during development and installation and you get Appium server timeouts? Now to solve these kinds of issues while trying to run the Appium inspector, you will probably run into the timeouts, inability to install APKs, because Appium needs to install three kinds of APIs. One related to the driver, sorry, two APKs related to the driver and Appium settings. Now to see if you have everything installed, you would run this command. I suggest you get familiar with ADB because you will need to run it often. Now if you run into an issue that none of it is installed, or some of it is installed, I suggest you uninstall all of the packages to your connected device and reinstall them again, but manually this time. So, you can also check the article. I ran into this issue of install timeouts while I was setting everything up on Ubuntu, but I didn't run into any issue while I was installing everything on Windows. So it depends, maybe you will be lucky and it will work from the first time.